Hello beautiful people, shalom money makers. I want to talk to you guys about Shiba Inu. A massive half a trillion Shiba Inu was just removed from Binance. Is this a good thing, a bad thing? What does this mean for Shiba Inu Plus? It seems that the Bitcoin ETF is going to be approved in 48 hours. The whole market is rallying. Will Shiba Inu finally be able to break out of this resistance? All I ask is to give me a beautiful smile. Smash that like button and let's do the Shiba Shake. <laughs> So currently the price of Shiba Inu is at 0 0.50952, up 5.5% uh, on the day. It's up about 12-ish percent from the low that we saw last night, 11-12% uh, depending on uh, you know when you look at it here. Bitcoin went over 47,000, uh, but has been consolidating in the fast pa past few hours. Past few hours. You can see uh, on the stochastic full, it hit the top of the four hour, also in the one hour. And same thing here for Shiba Inu, uh, the top of the one hour and the top of the four hour, almost the top of the four hour. So it's made a very nice move here. A lot of things happen today. If uh, you want a little bit more rundown on what's happening and why, I think that it's basically a done deal with the Bitcoin ETF. I'll link to that video at the end of this one um, and you can see the whole rundown but basically uh, we got a two things that you know mainly are telling me that we're going to get the approval one was the the twitter thread by sec chairman gary gensler and the second was the um the fees the bitcoin etf fees uh that all the companies put out today uh and we saw a bidding war basically happening there uh, and that also tells me they would not be doing this if they didn't have a significant confidence also someone came out on cnbc on the the tv <laughs> and also said that uh, from their sources that it's basically a done deal um so it started moving the market uh, and this is just a precursor of what could potentially happen here later tonight and going into tomorrow the whole market it the money is flowing in the algos are buying um and we don't know you know which where and how each of these assets are going to react right uh it could be that bitcoin is going to have most of the movement and altcoins will have a movement maybe a few days after i think they're all gonna if it gets accepted of course right there's still that small percentage that it doesn't but if it gets accepted uh we're probably going to see the dominance continue to go up as we are seeing now and then potentially uh we could uh see it come back down you can see it's at the top of the stochastic full but of course if it you know news trumps stochastic full right so news always trumps technical analysis and if the news drops uh it's not gonna happen today already it's uh like four or five in the u.s i think p.m um so if it, if it comes uh tomorrow i don't see why they would do it tomorrow they just wait to the last day on the 10th uh and so i think that tomorrow as a precursor to that happening we'll also see the market moving up unless some bad news comes out again news always trumps uh <laughs> both ways right uh, so it's going to be very interesting uh, to see what will happen now for shiba inu uh, like i said shiba inu is currently at 953 we dipped under uh, 900 again 850 but it came back up we're getting closer back to the 1000 range it will be interesting to see today and tomorrow where we end up finishing prior to the potential um approval of the bitcoin etf and we saw something interesting happen uh, today we saw a massive 546 billion Shiba Inu withdrawn from Binance as well as capitulate, right? And I saw an article, another article that was kind of um, shining this, it's about $10 million, right? Um, it was shining this in a bad way, kind of making it come out. Oh, um, I don't even remember what the headline was. It was something like, um, should we be concerned that money is moving out or something like that, right? Some, that was the headline. Um, and actually, I think this is a bullish thing that uh, money is coming out of Binance. Uh, two reasons. Uh, you take your assets off of the exchange for two reasons, right? Um, either you are going to 
transfer to another exchange, which is a possibility. <laughs> um, or you are not going to sell, right? So you're holding and there's no reason for it to be on the exchange unless you're using it to exchange, to trade, to exchange or something like that. And so that actually, in my opinion, shows great confidence in Shiba Inu, the fact that they decided to uh, remove uh, the assets from Binance. It could be also someone that is losing confidence a little bit in Binance with all that's gone on in the past few we uh, month and a half or so and decided to uh withdraw and over the last one and a half months five whales have been uh including tron founder justin sun have withdrawn 2.742 trillion shiba inu worth around 25.2 million at current prices from binance um so it could be and this is what the article says the whale might be moving ship to another exchange uh, or to stake or burn SHIB to earn rewards to reduce this total supply. Okay, that could happen. However, for larger SHIB withdrawals from Binance made by the whales, the presumed logic seems simple. More SHIB was moved off exchanges, presumably to cold storage wallets, as investors become more bullish about the long-term worth of Shiba Inu holdings. Um, we've seen situations that exchanges have fallen. And even Gary came out today with his, uh, his um, thread there talking about that we need to be careful and i keep saying we need to be careful but there's a reason for that because i want you guys to be careful <laughs> because when things are good then there's lower probability that an exchange will go bottom up but the bull market won't last forever so i'm going to be a pest i'm going to be like your uh like your mom right <laughs> and i'm going to keep reminding you all along the way into the bull market we're not there yet by the way uh into the bull market that we have to be careful we have to not click on links <laughs> that could drain our metamask wallets and we should not hold assets on exchanges that we're not using for trading now if you want to trade trading not holding our partner bybit gives you the opportunity link is in the description down below you can get 500 dollars of dogecoin once you use my link anything you make off that 500 dollars you get to keep if you lose the 500 dollars no harm no foul link is in the description down below please trade responsibly right these exchanges are for trading they're for leverage trading they're for copy trading they're for trading and 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 exchanging right but you can also do that on a centralized exchange right um like uniswap and others shiba swap um they're mainly for trading, right? So if you're not trading, external wallets. And of course, there's a slew of them. Um, you know, do a little research, watch a few YouTube videos, and try to figure out what's best for you. Um, you can also use uh, not hardware wallets, cold wallets. You can also use Trust Wallet and MetaMask, and there's others out there. Um, again, and you can choose. You can also decide to uh, distribute them your assets between wallets, right? If one gets lost, if one, but then it becomes more work because you have to also uh, hold all the uh, the seed phrases, right? <laughs> and that's why also I think that a lot of people are going to move to uh, these Bitcoin ETFs because, um, especially in the upper echelon of money, because people are afraid to to lose their hard wallets, right? And people are afraid of a hack. They say, well, it's it's BlackRock or it's Fidelity or whatever. They have their insurance. Something happens and they somehow lose custody, right, of the of the assets. Then it's on them. It's not my. It's you know, I still have my money in the account. Um, so that I think that will make some people that you know are kind of sick of self custody move over to these ETFs. And so that will be very interesting again, but at first we'll only have uh, Bitcoin. Maybe in the future we have Ethereum, we have Sol, we have XRB, we have maybe even Shiba Inu. <laughs> Who knows down the line, right? In four or five years, maybe if, if these assets were good, uh, depending on where Shiba Inu price will be, you know, that's an idea as well, right? A Shiba Inu ETF, maybe that happens, you know, down the line. Probably we'll see a Dogecoin one prior because it's like the, you know, the one that's higher up on the um on the market cap list so it might be a little bit sexier to the the big hedge funds and things like that but we'll see could potentially happen it could be the first meme coin uh etf i don't think shiba inu is a meme coin anymore right it will be interesting to see once we start moving here into the bull market how high can shiba inu go 
with the significant amount of 1.3 million Shiba Inu holders. It will be very, very interesting. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and you keep coming back to see my beautiful face, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get those notifications about new videos that drop. And of course, check out the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.